What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr Wargaming, as has requested by some of you, I'm bringing to you guys the Deck Profile 2 Utopia Shark, or Shark Utopia, however you want to call it. This is based on the combo video that I demonstrated for you guys using the ZS Monster and why that card is so good. So, before I get into this, if you enjoy, give us a like and subscribe down below. Ding that notification bell because obviously if you enjoy person's content here on YouTube, you don't want to miss on that content. And that notification bell helps prevent that. And all of that is greatly appreciated and we thank you very much, so much and thank you guys so much for doing so. So, with all that said and done, let's get into this deck profile. So again, this is all based on that combo tutorial. Um, if I don't knock my camera around, there we go. Um, so if you haven't seen that, I do advise to see that because after you've seen that, this profile would make a lot more sense as to why I built it the way it is. So start off with the sharks because that is the main bread and butter of your deck. This is how we're doing all of our Xyz plays um, and how the deck is basically constructed to play. So we're playing three of the three each of the main starters in the deck being Buzzsaw and Beautiful Princess. These are essentially one card, XTs plays, simple as that. Though to do all the best combos, you do need at least one extra card um, to get all your plays going, basically. Um, for your extenders, for those one extra card, we're playing three Lantern Shark, three Silent Angler, and three Tenny Spirit um, Machuda. The reason I play these is because none of these lock you into waters and I don't want to play the ones that do lock you into waters because that essentially means you're not playing Utopia monsters because they are not water. So we're playing these because this gives you this special summons one from your hand, this special summons itself from the hand though you can't press some from the hand for the rest of the turn and um, Tenue Spirit as long as you control no monsters or only normals you can special summon him from the hand so these also very good. So I play three of each means maximum consistency. There are times you don't open up a starter, but you open up like a bunch of these, and it's like cool. I'm just going to play the game. <laughs> like the the hand is just perfectly fine, then as it is. For the last of the shark part of the deck, I'm playing two copies of Xyz for more. Um, for this particular build, I dropped him down to two because you don't really need him as much for your plays because we are playing the ZS Ascent Sage, which if you saw the combo, you know why this card is so good. Um, <laughs> like the, the things that Xyz Remore does for Sharks, ZS Ascent Sage pretty much does the same level, the same stuff on the similar levels. Like it's just so powerful as to what end boards you can make and what you can access thanks to Ascendant Sage. So we're playing only one copy of it. You don't really need more than one copy because we are playing the spell card that can tutor him out. The reason I've gone for one of him and um, the spell and copies of the spell card is because the spell card helps unbrick your hand because it puts all those bricks back into your deck. The main brick, one of the main bricks I plan to put back into the deck or want to put back in the deck is Pegasus Twin Saber. Putting him back in the deck to insert your sage is absolutely phenomenal and that uh, the rank, uh, the Zexal construction helps do that which is why you're only playing with the one stage you need the one stage and you need the one saber because you just use them for the combos and that's pretty much it and then to run up the monsters we're playing just three ash blossoms for hand traps you can play any hand trap you want just ash is just so versatile it's just a very diverse hand trap to play now moving on to spells for searches we're playing three copies of zexal construction and three copies of the white mirror I love these cards so, so much. Um, all, both of these are just phenomenal for this deck. Um, yes, you will, the other copies of Construction will be dead after you do your combo because you only played the one, say, um, the one stage. But the end board you're making, you shouldn't need to play more than one. So you shouldn't need to use an extra copies because you should be winning on the next following turn after your end board, depending on how unless your opponent just opened up 
the nuts of the nuts amazing hand um, your end board should be more than enough to get you that win so three is perfectly fine to play with only one target because then once you do that and it again helps unbreak your hands so on and so forth and then the three copies of white mirror i love white mirror i always want to see this card in my opening hand so i play three copies of it then for the hand trap killers two talents and the one called by the grave um this is just great for ripping out those extra hand traps as well as helping to break the opponent's board if you're going second as well and then for more board breakers we're playing three copies of chalice i don't own droplets and i think chalice is just perfectly fine enough if you don't want to play chalice you can just play three additional hand traps like things like nibiru and stuff like that is another way for that means by playing things like Nibiru and Chalice and stuff like that um, means that you, if you're forced to go second, um, you can just do so. You have something in your deck already ready to help you go second. But Chalice is just so diverse, helps you go first and second because you can just set it. And then to run up the spells, playing the two, well, one brick and one pseudo brick. The rank up magic and the double or nothing. This is the brick, this is the pseudo brick. The reason why this is the pseudo brick is just because you don't want to see it which means it's a brick but if you do see it it's okay you're just not searching it off stage so that's why it's a pseudo brick in my personal opinion double or nothing you need to have it in deck because if you don't your utopia double can't rank up by itself and that means that play is completely like ruined which is why we play Zaxxel Construction at three to put this and your Pegasus back into the deck if you op if you do open them for traps, we're just playing three imperms and the one imperial order. We play the order while we can. The order means that uh, on our end board, it is not going to be stopped by things like Dark Ruin or more and Drop Bits because on their draw, like their standby phase, cool, flip the order, boom, they're not going to break our boards with those cards. Um, and that's pretty much it. And an imperm is imperm. It's a very fantastic hand trap. That's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extract, where like a lot of the changes are because you have to play all the rank up uh, Utopia package, but it's so good. And I do play two additional spicy cards in the extract, which I will explain when I get to. Starting off with the shark portion of the deck is one Bahamut, one Toad, one Stealth Kragen, and I guess this is also part of your shark package as well because if you're playing sharks, you play these as well. Future Draco and Future. Uh, in this board you can only fit one shark and one toad unfortunately um, but it's perfectly fine uh, well you, you can play the others you can play two more if you want one more of each um, obviously you just take out my spicy text um, if you want to play additional copies but this is perfectly fine you don't really need more than one uh, more of these because the things that you replace the toad for basically do what toad does anyway um, in its own unique way. So, um, yeah, you don't really need... I've never... In testing, I've never missed the additional copies. Um, it's just perfectly fine. That's it for your um, shark part package of the extra deck. Moving on, we have the Utopia package. So, the one Utopia double, one Utopia, one Prime. Again, you can play um, OG Ray if you want to. And then we have the Dragner, the thing that just sets everything going. Uh, one uh, Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray, one Titanic Galaxy, and the one ZS Utopic Sage. This is your Utopia package. It is a big package, but the end boards, as you saw in the combo, are just insane. Um, this is just made of two cards. And then like this is, um, helps facilitate all those cards, like the order plays. This is, gets you into this and gives it two summons, which everything just works so nicely in the extra deck that it's just, I'm really enjoying it. I'm almost enjoy it. I kind of enjoy it more than just pure shark extra deck, whoops. Um, because you just have so much versatility by um, having access to Dragner. Um, you don't have to play these. I just thought these two were the, the best in terms of going first. You can play going second options. You can put those in your side deck as well, which is just absolutely great. Um, this can also summon out your um, your Stealth Kragen as well if you really wanted to do that. Like, there's so many options that you can play, and it's just so, so much fun to do. 
And then for the spicy tags, which you saw, because I just accidentally flipped them onto the floor, um, the one AA Zeus and to give Zeus additional negates while also being um, board disruptions and just naturally useful is the one Valiant Shark Lancer and the one Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer. Now you're probably wondering why am I playing these um, and how does it help Zeus? So your main way to get into these is with Buzzsaw and Lantern because both of those can be used for rank three, fours and fives. So you use those two and you make Valiant Shark Lancer. Valiant Shark Lancer is actually unique exceeds where it doesn't actually have to detach his own materials to pop. You can pop, you can detach a material from A XCs on your field and to pop a card on your opponent's board. This is a quick effect if you control another water. So you can use Shark Lancer who has two materials, detach a material from something else, pop a card. You then turn this into full armored crystal zero Lancer. Now Lancer now has three materials under her already and she gains an additional 500 attack for each material attached to it. It will have three so it jumps up to a 3700 attack point beta who if you really wanted to and you didn't want to give four materials to your Zeus and you're happy with just three you can use Zero Lancer to detach material to negate all face up monsters you current currently controls and have the attack um and uh yeah i think that's just it uh, buh, buh, buh. once pretending to attach one material from this card all face up monster pen controls have the effects negated until the end of this turn which is just super good it just nukes all the effects like it's just absolutely phenomenal it's like a dark ruler that they can unfortunately chain to but you know what i mean so you turn that into this after you pop something with the lancer then you turn you attack with this again at 3700 then after that you just slap a zeus on top and now he has four materials which is just absolutely phenomenal so that's my spicy tech to make zeus bigger um as opposed to just using the um zood package or something else i just thought those were a bit boring i wanted to add a bit more spice and um uniqueness to my build that still facilitates the same thing and i feel like this package um is a lot better in all honesty like yeah you have to use your two sharks to make it but the result that you get is just a lot more versatile but that guys is the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed it leave your comments down below what you think as i said before in this video a few times if you want to see the combos go check out the channel the combos are there and explains why i'm playing the build the way that it is if you're confused as to why it is like this as always like comment and subscribe stay safe till next time as always Happy dooling.